The program mode is really great, and this is what I highly recommend for all beginners to use as opposed to using the automatic mode. Turn your mode dial to P, this stands for program, and the reason why I like this so much is because it gives you a lot of flexibility, but still doesn't force you to think so much about the exposure of your picture. So if I press the shutter button halfway, you can see that both the shutter speed and aperture are chosen for me. What it does give you control over are things like ISO, white balance, exposure compensation, as well as the ability to shift the shutter speed and aperture settings. I can also change the metering mode to spot, and I have control over the autofocus mode. To change the ISO, just press the ISO button right here. To change the white balance, just press the white balance right here. To change the autofocus mode, just press the autofocus button right here. In order to set the exposure compensation, just use the dial up in the front, tap it in like a button once to highlight the exposure compensation, and roll it to the right or to the left to increase or decrease the exposure compensation. If you want to shift the program settings, you have to choose an ISO other than intelligent ISO. Shifting the program settings will not work with intelligent ISO selected. And what I mean by shifting these settings is very simple. Go ahead and press the shutter button halfway. You can see right now my exposure compensation is still selected, so I'll press the dial in like a button, and then roll the dial to shift the settings the camera chose. If I'm taking a portrait, then I want a wide aperture. If I'm shooting sports, then I want a fast shutter speed. If I'm taking a picture of a landscape, then I want a narrow aperture. And I can select these different options without ever moving the mode dial, just by shifting the program settings. So this mode is very, very versatile, but still allows you to automate just about anything. I can still set the white balance and ISO both to automatic, and I can choose to avoid shifting the program settings. But the fact that I do have the flexibility to change these options if I need to makes this mode much more versatile than the automatic mode and probably the mode I use for 95% of the pictures I take. To find out much more about digital photography and your digital camera, go to lbguides.com.